All right, let's cock some cracks, and I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, some guys will go out and dig out the crack and fill it with stucco and rematch it. Um, I don't normally do that, and I'm going to explain to you why first, because the important thing is you need to know why you're doing what you're doing and then how to do it so that it lasts and or it's basically a cosmetic repair um, I've seen guys do that where they just dig it all the way out and they fill it with stucco and they fix it and make it look perfect and then they fog coat the wall with um, plastering stuff and that and that's fine for plastering touch up it's a temporary repair uh, it, eventually the crack will crack again you gotta think about why this crack happened in the beginning um, and and I, this is why I believe caulking is the best way to deal with them. Um, is this wall expands and contracts and expands and contracts, and then what happens is it has this is the weakest point for whatever reason, and that creates a crack. And if you fill it in with stucco, stucco is rigid, and it will eventually do the same thing and usually it'll look a whole lot worse than if you use caulking so what will uh, caulking has a little bit of uh, it, you know the ability to expand and contract a bit so you know it's eventually it can start to look bad sometimes but it is probably the best way in my opinion to fill it um, the thing I've seen people do sometimes is they mound their caulking on and when they mount it on, then it's really visible and unsightly. So I'm going to show you how that I do it. We'll see how that works out for you guys. Now, if one is really a hairline crack, this is a little thicker than a hairline. But when if it's really just a hairline crack, a lot of times I won't fill it because it'll look worse over time. So I wait for them to get at least this wide, and then I start to repair them. Again, this is just a cosmetic repair. So... All I do is just take caulking. He's a 25 year or 35 year painter's caulk. And I just kind of put it over the crack. And I do about a maximum of about three feet at a time, depending how hot it is during the day. Now, down here where it starts to get really narrow, I'm not going to do anything. So I'll give it a little wipe with my finger, like that times and some guys I've seen them just leave them like that it looks horrible you get a wet rag really wet and then you just agitate the heck out of it you just have to really work it into the crack you don't want to bridge the stucco you want it to just fill the crack so it takes a bit of time to do this See how it just fills the crack and like that and it's it's work it's not easy to do just fill the crack with that wet rag and then that will come out pretty much invisible when it's painted Hopefully you can see that. My cracks don't show up where you see these big spider webs all over the wall. It looks pretty good. I don't know if I'll get them painted in this video, but we'll take a look at them later in another video. All right, so yeah, I've seen those cracks where guys use this stucco and they fill them in with stucco and I come back and fix them after they're done. And they look so much worse over after a few years. This is, in my opinion, the best way to fix them. Again, you can do whatever you want to do. Get a quick wipe. We're going to remove all the excess and try not to bridge it into the into the stucco. It's really, really, really agitated. You're pushing it only you have a really good tip on your caulking gun, it really helps too. 
and a really, really wet rag. I just got it wet again. There's a couple voids in the crack. It's all right. We're only just trying to do a cosmetic repair. So they don't look so bad. Hopefully we're all still in frame. Let me get back you guys up a little bit so you can see the bottom of that. But that's how I fix cracks in stucco. See how much work it is to do one crack? It takes a long time. And I'll get down a little bit further on this one. I can see it's a little bit wide down here. And I may not even try to get the whole entire crack. Just get the visible areas of it. My guys never do this the right way. I told them, I showed them, showed them, showed them. Like, see how much agitation you gotta put in there? It's a lot of pushing. I'm pushing on that rag really hard and it's just filling just the crack and you can see if you can kind of see when that's painted it won't shiner maybe you guys have probably seen those shiner cracks all right so we got another one right here same thing I'm just gonna take it down just a little bit to where you don't see it Nice small hole in your cotton gun is always good. I don't want too much on there because you're going to take most of it off. There you go. You don't need to use the texturized caulking. fine so that is really thin down below that so we're gonna leave that portion there fill it in just like so now if you see that wider portion right here if somebody fixes that with stucco that's what it looks like after it's been recracked again is it goes really wide again and it just is really unsightly so it's best just to fill it a little caulking and then agitate it into place like that again really wet rag you gotta really push on it agitate it into that crack make sure it doesn't fill in that stucco kind of tell just from this video without even painting that 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 is not going to show up when it's painted you won't see it all right one more see like a bad spot right in here it's probably hairline past that but we're just going to fix the bad parts cosmetically repair these you know, settling will have to make it happen again um, or it could be just like I said in expansion and contraction of the stucco it's gonna crack in exactly the same place again but when it's used caulking it's a little bit flexible and it will withstand some of that movement where like I said if you use stucco patch it won't and it'll make a really ugly looking crack the second time so that's why I don't do that again if you're a stucco guy you got to fix it with what you got if you're if you're a guy who does plastering repair and you're not a painter you're gonna fix it with the things that you know and the tools that you know um, which is stucco you know painting stucco I think makes it last longer um, makes the stucco last longer 
and I think it's actually better 